on exercise 2 ok what we are going to learn today we are going to learn about the classes and phrases phrases and class in the previous class we have already studied about the phrases and class but today we are going to learn about the types of this ok types of phrases and class now if you have notebook please open the notebook copy it sir if you don't have copy at present just download my pdf Watch my full video. I request you that watch my full video because in the end, end of my video, I am going to give you some work. Okay, guys, I request you that if you did not subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe my channel, like my channel, share my channel. Okay, among your friends. Now come here, guys. Phrases. A group of words that does not make a complete sense by itself. Okay, a group of words that does not make a complete sense by itself is known as phrases by itself. Okay, suppose that here it has been written here some people in India. Some people in India. To complete this sense, more words were required here. Second example, bunch of roses. Bunch of roses. But it is not completing at all so it requires more other words okay now these are some examples of phrases a group of words that does not make complete sense by itself is known as phrases some people in india okay and bunch of roses bunch of roses that means this is a phrase now we are going to talk about the types of phrases how many types of phrases are there? What, is, what are the rules and regulations we are going to learn? Come, let us start. Noun phrases. The phrase, the phrase that has a noun or a pronoun. Okay. As the main word, as the main word, main word is known as noun phrases. My brother, my sister, the cat, the cow, etc. These are the examples of noun phrases. Now, next is Verb phrase. Okay, guys, if you are requesting, always I am requesting you. Don't carry on watching. Okay, but if you have notebook, just note it down in your notebook. Okay. Now, verb phrase. The phrase that has a verb that has a verb or more than one verb in a sentence. Okay, as the main verb is called verb phrase. Once again. The phrase that has a verb or more than one verb, more than one word, okay, as the main word is called the verb phrase. Example, will do, is going, is eating, is helping, etc. Will sing. Okay, next, proportional phrase. Proportional phrase. The phrases that begins with a preposition. It is very easy. This is the very easy, guys. The phrase. The phrases that begins with a preposition is called a phrasal verb. Example, see here, at home. In at home, at is here, preposition, the room, okay, on the table, okay. So, these are called, these are the examples of prepositional phrase. Next, adjective phrases. The phrase that describes, I have already written it to save the time, guys. But if you, have, if you are facing any more problem, just go to my comment box and you can give some advice guys. Okay, now here, preposition adjective phrases, the phrases that describes a noun or a pronoun, describes, okay, describes a noun or a pronoun is called an adjective phrases, suppose that very poor, very poor. Next is too difficult, too different, huh? extremely good, etc. These are the examples of adjective phrases. Next is now it's adverbal phrase. The fifth is adverbal phrase. Okay. Now the phrase that has has an adverb has an adverb as the main word is called uh, an adverbal phrase. Once again, the phrase that has an adverb as the main word 
Okay, it's called an adverbial phrase very quickly after that quite happy, happily, etc. Okay, hope that you have understood and watched my video very very carefully. Okay, suppose if you have any queries, you can go to my comment box, go to the comment and just give some advice. Okay, drop some message. I'm waiting for a message guys. And thank you very much that you are contacting me and dropping some message. Thank you for that once again. Now, clauses. What are the clauses here? Clause. Such a group of words which forms part of a sentence and contains a subject and a predicate. The subject and predicate should be there. Okay, it's called a clause. In the following sentences, the group of words, okay, underline is what? Clauses. Now, suppose that I'm, I'm making a circle there so that because to make you understand, people who pay their debts are trusted. People, people who pay their debts are trusted. Who pay their debts? Okay, this is a clause here. Okay, who pay the debts is a clause here. Next, we cannot start why it is raining. Why it is raining? Why it is raining is a clause here. Next, I think that you have made a mistake. I think that you have made a mistake. Have made a mistake. Have made a mistake is a clause here. Okay, hope that you have understood here in a proper way. Most systematically, I will teach you, I will clarify that what is the difference between between the phrases and clauses. Okay. Can you watch my video? For homework, just download my PDF. Okay. All the homeworks has been given in the PDF, guys. So can you watch my video? Thank you very much. Guys, and once again, please subscribe my channel. Please, first of all, press the bell icon.